Come here. Come here. Come here. You're not subtle. Bandit. Bandit. Hey, come here. Come here. One minute. Come here. Oh, fucking dog. Come here. It's just a chair. Come on. No, he's not interested. Bye, buddy. Where was I? Not good survivors. Do they let women be in the Galra military? They don't really seem like the most progressive people. It's too dangerous. I'm going in with you. Although I guess if women can be stormtroopers during the Empire, I guess anything's possible. Uh, no, I'm just kind of... That's actually not really a problem for me. It's just a really odd nitpick. Although I suppose if officers can be female in, this, in the Imperial Army in Star Wars, then I guess anything's possible. They even let, I mean, if they, they let gays into the military. You will stick out like a Shofariak's nose. You're going to need that nose, Princess. Shiro's hand is made from Galra tech. It's the only thing we have that will allow us to interface with their systems and gather intel. I can monitor the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Just rips the arm off. <laughs> How are you going to get Shiro on board? How are you going to get back? I think I have an O. Oh. Better than what I was thinking. Switch it up. I need a shave. Hell of those things. Did they dismember SpongeBob? <laughs> well, now I can't see the screen myself. God damn it. Well, I suspect that it's sports. It, it's what? A well-delivered line that's genuinely kind of funny. Okay, so they made the one joke about him genuinely funny for once. I bet it's Sporks. <laughs> that's a dumb joke, but I can't... I, I kind of like that one. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Maybe this guy will tell us. What is coming in and out of this station? Interrogation detected. Initiating lockdown. <laughs> Not talking, eh? Whoa. Check out this guy. Whatever's happening here that requires the base to be kept secret must have something to do with that scary dude. I'm gonna go check it out. I like the little... <laughs> Like, I like the background details, like this whole hierarchy shit. I love it. Keep think about what you're doing. Don't walk through that door. <laughs> I think I told him. You are a paragon of leadership, Lance. Don't use big words. He can't understand it. The Gestapo! They're back! Shiro, are you alright? I just remembered how I escaped from the Gawra prison ship. Listen, most of the ship's personnel are sentries. So? When I was a prisoner, I timed their pattern. Mm. Clever. That's really clever. Let's find out. 
You hear screams and just a little flash of blood. I'm trying to- why am I trying to make this so much darker than it really is? Not that the show doesn't get dark. I like the little tri- those little pyramid things. Those are so cute. I will- I want one now. Again, I'm- I'm just wondering, why isn't this a video game? It should have been. Although, I wonder if there's some kind of dispute going on between Netflix and NBC. Is that's probably why they're taking the show off Netflix, even though Netflix fucking made the show, but... That's just me. That's just me. <sighs> Sorry, I had to stretch my little legs. I'm very short. What time is it? Near the halfway point. Okay. Can we talk about Plan of the... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just... I have to fill some time. But did you guys hear that Cross is actually getting its own adaptation? Seriously! <laughs> My god. Why? I mean, look. I'm actually a really big Cross fan. Cross fan. That's been a, I've had that as a hyperfixation several times. <coughs> but I mean, how are they gonna do it? It's like one of the bloodiest comics, American comics, ever made. Um, I mean, Japanese are probably the Japanese comics apparently are are so much gorier, but for Cross, it's still pretty. Cross is pretty intense, though. I mean, wait, there is the sad... Uh, I should really get back to the show. That should be its own video. Okay. Wait. So, little bits of characterization there that I really, really like. So, let's start with Hunk. That little revel I like that little revelation that he's just doing that to distract himself. Like, that's a nice little bit of humanity there. Not that this character wasn't human, of course, but it's just that it... I like the... I, I just... I like that they gave it a little bit more characterization there. It's just... I'm just worried that... So they're all gonna get hurt, so I just do this to distract myself. That's a very human response. So he's just kind of goofing off. As for Pidge, I love the stop torturing it line because, like, that's how I treat robots as well, or the few I've come across. Uh, and I'm also I'm also super polite to the a to meta AI when I, on, on the rare chance that I use it, mostly just to see if I can fuck around with it. Um, it's just that I I like that Pidge considers robots sentient beings too. It's just that don't hurt them. Like that's really cute, and that's a lovely little bit of character, a little bit of personality there. We can stop there. I, I have nothing, nothing to say about him. It, look, it's not that Lance doesn't have a personality at all. They do try to give him one, but it's just not one that I particularly like. But, okay, I liked the scene where he was with Koran in the, um, in, in the one room, where he's like, how far away is Earth? Like, I thought that actually, that, I thought that really felt genuine for his character, and it's just, 
he was genuinely, he really missed home. I actually felt for him there. It's just one of those rare occasions where it, he felt really human. 